Hey guys, it's Mike Murtis on Little Logic, and this video is a quick thank you to Max. Uh, Max, I do not have your YouTube name, otherwise uh, I'd be giving you a little bit more credit. I know uh, you found out about me through my videos and then started emailing me through my site, so I'm not sure uh, from my list of subscribers who you actually are on YouTube, so I apologize for that. But uh, Max uh, lives out in Ohio, and he does not have a spot... Um, he does not live in an area that has DSL or cable modem uh, capabilities, so unfortunately he has to use dial-up. And um, you know, he was trying to download a good majority of my music, and unfortunately it was taking forever. And he asked, is there any way you could send me a CD, um, either a couple CDs or MP3s of all your stuff? And uh, you know, I, I'll never turn a fan down, so I said sure, and uh, I sent him over a uh, CD full of uh, my entire discography basically and uh, we talked about games a little bit through email and stuff like that and he's actually a uh, collector of games as well and uh, he has a decent Super Famicom collection and I was telling him how uh, I just started getting into the Super Famicom and that uh, I, you know now that my Super Nintendo library is pretty full I, I wanted to pick up uh, just a couple Super Famicom games and uh, today at uh, work, I received a cool little package from him, and it was loaded with some Super Famicom games, which is just freaking awesome. Um, I want, want to say thank you very, very much, Max, for getting these to me. Um, a lot of these I do have the American versions, but it's very cool to have the Japanese import version, or at least I believe these are the Japanese import version. Um, you'll have to let me know how you acquire these, because these are pretty cool, and most of them are in really good condition. So... Thank you, Max. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and show them off to people just because uh, I'm sure they're interested too. First up, we have Zelda 3, which is uh, A Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. Freaking awesome game. Really cool cover art on this. It's uh, always neat to see the difference between cover art on these games. Contra 3, The Alien Wars, otherwise known as Contra Spirits in Japan. Very fun game. Very hard game. Thank you very much for that. Um, I don't know what this is. It's from Bandai. It's SD something or other. Um, you're going to have to let me know what this one is, man, because my Japanese reading is very, very crappy. But uh, very cool. Thank you for that. I've never heard of it. I'll have to try this out. Ah, another fun game. Smash TV. Used to play this in the arcade a lot. Um, really interesting control scheme with it. I played it on Nintendo. I think I rented on Super Nintendo. Very cool to have the Japanese version of this. I'd be interested to see if they turned up the violence at all, because I'm pretty sure the American version was censored. Ah, very cool. Final Fight 2. Japanese version. That's awesome. Really cool cover art on that. And, of course, you can't have Final Fight 2 without... Final Fight 1, which is again has cooler cover art than the American version. That's awesome. Both Final Fight games. Now, I'm not going to uh, attempt to try to find the third Final Fight on my own because that's Final Fight Tough, which you saw in my review for uh, the SNES game pack, the Retro Zone. And uh, I guess it's really, really rare. Even the American version is rare, but the Japanese version is super rare. And finally, Samurai Spirits, which is uh, Samurai Showdown here in the U.S. I do not have this for my Super Nintendo. That is very awesome. And a uh, cool fighting game from SNK. So, Max, thank you so much for sending me these. Uh, that's, that's freaking awesome. I can pretty much honestly say now that my uh, Super Famicom collection is pretty much complete. Uh, I don't want to get too many of these because uh, they just add up too quickly. And uh, now that I have the uh, retro... Uh, flash pack. I figured I can use that. Uh, there is one more Super Famicom game I do want to pick up, and that is I want to own Clock Tower, the first sphere. So hopefully when I go to uh, the Midwest Gaming Classic in 2010, they will have a copy of it. I'm almost positive I saw that. But uh, Max, thanks again for finishing this off, and hopefully the rest of you enjoyed it. Uh, pretty cool to be sent stuff. So have a good one, guys, and uh, I'll be uploading another video shortly. Have a good one. Bye.